this video, we're going to set up the Vue JavaScript framework for our Laravel application, as well as Vuetify, the material design component framework for Vue. First, we'll need to install the Laravel UI package using Composer. I'm going to head over to Laravel. It's just laravel.com in the URL. I'm going to click on Documentation, and then I'm going to go to Front End and Front End Scaffolding. In order to install the Laravel UI package, I'm going to copy this command right here, and we'll run it in the terminal for our application. So I'm going to cd into blog. I'm going to command V to paste that in there, and I'm going to press enter. Now, once the Laravel UI package is installed, we can use the UI artisan command to install the scaffolding for Vue. Now we can install the front end scaffolding for Vue. I'm going to scroll down here, and we're going to do it with auth, so it'll create a few extra blade files for us that we'll use a little later on. And I'm just going to command V to paste that in here and press enter. And in order to compile the fresh scaffolding, we have to run this command, npm install and npm run dev. I'm using command V to paste again and enter. So it just installed all of our package requirements and now it's going to compile the project. This is what we see right now. This is compiling. This is going to take our all of our components and compile that into uh, JS slash app.js and any CSS we have into CSS slash app.css. Now just to show you what that created, I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code here and I'm in my project I'm gonna to go to resources views and that dash dash auth command added a couple extra pieces here a couple extra blade files we have home dot blade which is something you'll see after a user logs in we have our layouts and we also have auth and in that auth has a passwords folder we have our login blade register and verify blade We'll get into that a little later on. Now let's install the Vuetify Material Design Component Framework. I'm just going to go up here. I already had a tab open. We're on vuetifyjs.com. I'm going to click on Documentation. Over here on the left, uh, under Getting Started, we're going to click on Quick Start. And we're going to use the Webpack install. So I'm just scrolling down. Right here, we'll use npm install Vuetify. I'm using command C to copy. I'm opening up the terminal again, and I'm going to use command V to paste and enter. All right, now we're going to run this additional command here for the SAS and SAS loader. Command C to copy. Open up terminal, command V to paste, and enter. All right, and it says once installed, lo locate your webpack.config file and copy the snippet below into the rules array. If you have an existing SAS rule configured, you may need to apply some or all of the changes below. If you're looking to utilize the Vuetify loader for tree shaking, ensure that you're on version greater than or equal to four of Webpack. We're gonna go ahead and use the Vuetify loader. So I'm gonna click here on the a la carte page. All right, it says here, keeping track of all the components you're using can be a real chore. The Vuetify loader alleviates this pain by automatically importing all the Vuetify components you use where you use them. This will also make code splitting more effective as Webpack will only load the components required for that chunk to be displayed. Now, since this is a Laravel project and the instructions here are for the Vue CLI installation, first we need to install the Vuetify loader package. So I'm gonna open up Terminal, 
and I'm already in my blog project and I'm just going to type npm install Vutify dash loader and press enter. Okay, now that that's installed, we can move down to the next step. And it says, in order to take advantage of the a la carte components, you must import Beautify from Beautify slash lib. Now again, this is for the Vue CLI installation. So this is going to be slightly modified. They're telling us to put it in source slash plugin slash Beautify. We're going to put it into a different folder. I'll show you in one second. I'm just going to copy this right here with Command C. I'm going to open up my Visual Studio code. I'm going to go to resources and we're going to create a folder in here in resources called plugins. We're also going to create that Vutify file, new file, Vutify.js, and I'm just going to command V to paste that in here and then command S to save. Now before we edit the webpack config file, there is one more package I'd like to install. That package is for case sensitive paths. So I'm going to go over here. I have a link over here. I'm going to copy and paste. Let's open up a new tab. This is for case sensitive paths. Now it says here, this webpack plugin enforces the entire path of all required modules match the exact case of the actual path on disk. Using this plugin helps alleviate cases where developers working on OS X, which does not follow strict path case sensitivity, will cause conflicts with other developers or build boxes running other operating systems which require correctly cased paths. I found this package because I ran into this exact scenario. I was working on a project, I accidentally mistyped, I capitalized something and it should have been lower cased, everything compiled correctly on my local machine, I sent it into production and it didn't work. And it was a nightmare trying to figure out why it didn't work and it ended up being a capital S and it should have been lowercase. So I think this package saves a lot of headache down the road. It's something that I started putting in most of my projects now. So I wanted to include it in this tutorial. Um, in order to install, I'm going to copy this command right here, command C. I'm going to open up terminal and I'm going to press command V to paste and enter. All right, it's all installed. Now let's edit our Webpack config file to include the Vutify loader and the case sensitive paths plugin. All right, I'm gonna open up Visual Studio Code and I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna open up the webpack.mix.js file. Now I already took the liberty to read through the installation instructions on the case sensitive paths plugin as well as the Vutify loader plugin and I combined the two and I'm just going to paste this right in here. Uh, so we have a constant variable for the Vutify loader plugin. We're going to require Vutify loader lib slash plugin. Uh, we have a constant variable of case sensitive paths plugin. We're requiring that. We're putting it in an object with a plugins array. Then we're going to mix.webpack config and we're going to drop in that variable with the plugins. Go ahead and command S to save, and that should be it for the webpack.mix.js file. Now we can add Vutify to the main apps.js file. So I'm going to scroll up here to apps.js, and I'm going to import the file we made previously. So import Vutify from, it was in our plugins directory, and the Vutify file. And then I'll jump down here and I'm going to include it in our new view and I'll say beautify and beautify. And now we should have included beautify into our application. I'm going to command S to save and let's check out and make sure view and beautify are both working. Before I start, I want to come over here to terminal and I'm in my application directory. I want to run the command npm run watch. And what that's going to do is it's going to watch as I make changes into these different files and folders and recompile after I save each time. It's also going to apply the view loader and case sensitive paths uh, edits we made a, a minute ago. 
So go ahead and run our NPM run watch and press enter. Okay, that compiled successfully. And you see I don't get a prompt here to type anymore. That's because it's watching the files. If I wanted to do another command prompt, I would have to open up another tab in my terminal window. So we're just going to leave this as is and minimize. Now let's go over here to our Laravel application. I am in, on the login page. I'm just going to make sure view is working. So I'm going to click on Visual Studio Code. I want to open up where I was at. And just to make sure it's working, I'm going to go to Layouts, and I want to open up the App Blade. But before I do that, I just want to point out this example component has to be within the element that has the App ID. So once we go into the App Blade, I'm going to find the div with the ID of App, and I'll just go ahead and add that example-component and example-component and I'm going to command S to save and if I refresh this page I see the example component which is what we expected. Now to see if Beautify is working we're going to open up our example component which is in our resources JS components our example component and I'm just going to delete everything in here and all Beautify applications have to start with v-app everything has to be contained within this. So let's see, we're gonna do our v-app and let's go over to Beautify and let's just add a button just to see if it's working. So I'll scroll down here to buttons. I'm gonna scroll down and we'll just grab a button out of here, a primary button and Command C to copy. I'm gonna Command V to paste and Command S to save. So I've just saved this. I'm going to come back over here to my Laravel application and I'm expecting the Beautify app, the V app, to fill the entire content of the page. So I'm going to refresh and there we go. Our primary button works. The V app filled the entire page and we can confirm that View and Beautify are both working on our application. Before I move on, I just want to undo this. I'm not going to leave it like that. Uh, I'm going to save that, and I want to undo the changes to my app.blade.php file. I was only doing that to confirm that everything we just set up is working. So Command-R is going to refresh that, and we should be right back to where we started. And just to recap, we installed the Laravel UI package. We used PHP Artisan View UI command to install the front end scaffolding with auth to include additional blade files. We also installed the Beautify and Beautify Loader. We installed case sensitive paths. We configured both Beautify Loader and case sensitive paths inside our webpack.mix file. And then we added the Beautify plugin to our app.js file. I think this is a good stopping point. Right now would be a good time to hit the subscribe button and sign up for notifications for the next video.